Now, my hand-eye coordination isn't too bad after all those years playing rugby, but is it any good when it comes to golf? Well, with less than three weeks to go until the Dubai duty-free Irish Open, I went to visit County Kilkenny to play on the world-class Mount Juliet course with the one and only King Henry Shefflin. <laughs> Well, when you think of the Marble County, you think of the sunny southeast, hence the shorts. You think of hurling, you think of the comedy festival, you think of the tourist attractions. So, when they asked me to come down and play a bit of golf in Mount Juliet, I was excited until they tell me I have to come, come up against probably the greatest hurler of all time, Henry Shefflin. Henry, what about the weather? I've got I, the shorts on. I know, Tommy, you never brought the sun down with you, unfortunately. Well, I am delighted to be here. It's exciting to be my Juliet. What a golf course this place is as well. Do you live close to here? Is it somewhere you've come often? Yeah, Bally Hill, where I live, is just maybe uh, five or six miles just in the road, so it's a 10 minute drive. I don't come often onto the golf course, so as well, you'll find out soon things. enough, Tommy, as you soon find out soon enough, but uh, no, for myself and, and Deirdre and the family, it's a great amenity, you know, we just drive in here, you come in through the walls and it's just uh, an ocean of opportunity, I think, for, for all the family. This, this is not as exciting, this is nervous now playing golf with you. I played with Brian Driscoll a little while ago and he was very good, so I'm Oh, Driscoll was good. Yeah. Well, I just can't wait to see, are you the, the gammy grip, the golfing grip? What way are you going for it? I uh, know I'm the golfing grip, but it's, are you actually? It, it, looks, it looks a bit gammy, my game, but this is the golfing grip. <laughs> well, we'll soon find out. I do play a bit of golf from time to time. I know my birdies from my eagles, but that would be the height of it. So thankfully, Matt Sandercock from Mount Juliet gives us a little pep talk before we get going. And of course, we start beside the water. That's never good. We're only a few weeks away from the Dubai Duty Free Irish Open, so the course is set up perfectly for you. The Greens team have worked very hard over the past number of months where we can, so there should be no excuses. Feels like some kind of rush. So listen, the Dubai Duty Free Irish Open on your doorstep, that's exciting, isn't it? Yeah, it's very exciting, especially after last year being cancelled, Tommy. So um, I remember coming in here to watch uh, Tiger Woods in early 2000s, say, in the American Express. So, wow. so to have the, the Dubai uh, Duty Free back in Mount Juliet is wonderful, I think. So so normally, like, normally hurling yeah, is no, that no, way? Jesus, like, like, go on, I just hit it that way, go on for a laugh, let's right. go. Let's go, so. let's, Now we'll see it. I, in I the hole, hole in one. I have never hit a golf ball like this, would you believe it? It feels unnatural. Ah! <laughs> yes! Hope you didn't get that. He's in the water. Yeah. Okay, right, here we right. go. Great shot. I'll take that one, it's a yeah. bit better, isn't it? Good stuff. Right before the rain gets heavier, it's the last hole, and it's time for a bit of hurling talk with the man himself. So here we are on the 18th. Yes. How good will it to have supporters and crowds back again? Well, both of us have been at matches and commentating the matches, and just, it's not the same, is it? You, know, you need that extra atmosphere I think and uh, I think we're all looking forward to that. And even from the hurling point of view, you know, to have supporters back in Croke Park say for the final again, like it must be so exciting for the players to just get themselves, you know, to know that there will be people cheering them on. Yeah, I think so. As players and their families as well. I think that was the sad thing about last year is that the families couldn't go on to the big, big occasions as well. And Kilkenny's point of view, it's been a while since you lifted you know, that All-Ireland trophy, I mean, do you think this season could be different? Yeah, well, I thought last year they were very unlucky, you know. I think we are in our Ireland semi-final, we were leading by nine pints in the lead up to half-time, so we're not too far away from, from being at that level. And how great would it be for Cody to, could be his last season, could have five more seasons still to yeah. go, but to get back to winning ways again? It, it doesn't matter to Brian. Brian just wants to get the best from the players, and that's what he's trying to achieve each and every year. So. I think no different this year. 
And what about you then? Are you going to be joining them? Oh, Jesus. No. <laughs> I'm training Thomas down here and I'm at club level. And uh, no, I'm very happy. I'm, I'm very much on a, a learning journey, Tommy. That's the way I see it. You know, I, I had a couple of years with Ballyhale, my own club, really enjoyed it. Hopefully opportunities will arise themselves down the road. But for the moment, I'm very happy and uh, learning loads. Well, hopefully, from what we've seen today, the challenge isn't going to be golf going forward. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's with the hurling, of course, and Kilkenny, I'm sure, will be delighted to get you back in there again, too. So let's finish it off. Yes, this is it. We've lost about eight balls, but this is what it comes down to. Oh! <laughs> Ye of little faith. Great Thank stuff. You. Well Henry, done. What can I say? Come down to Kilkenny, Kilkenny and do that. <laughs> he's, he's raging. <laughs> I'm devastated. You should have seen his play up to that. Right, come on, put it away there and let's go for a cuppa. He's left to do well. <laughs> My game has gone to pot now. <laughs> ah, brilliant. A great morning. You can't beat a bit of golfing, some GAA talk with the one and only Henry Sheffin and absorb the beautiful sights of Mount Juliet Estate. I'll be back next time and I'll bring some golf pants. Yeah.